Uniphone have been making rugged smartphones for a few years now. The latest addition is the Uniphone Armor 12 5G, packed with features like an antibacterial silver iron coating, hi-fi level stereo speakers, wireless charging and five camera sensors. Does it offer enough to stand ahead of the rugged crowd? Let's find out. Uniphone have used the letter X throughout the design of the Armour 12. From the sides of the phone to the rear by the cameras, on the banner and the two speaker grills. It's refreshing from the boring and bulky rugged phones out there. Compared to the competition, the Armour 12 is pretty comfortable to hold in the hand, thanks to the curved sides on the rear and the composite plastic material coated in antibacterial silver iron. You don't notice the 296 grams or 0.65 pounds weight. As it's a rugged smartphone, the Armour 12 is IP68 and IP69K rated. In other words, 1.5 meters of water for 30 minutes. It's also protected from drops of up to 1.2 meters and tested to military standard 810G. The corners of the phone have added protection for drops, plus the bezels around the display and the camera sensors are slightly raised to protect them too. The Armour 12 comes in grey, black or black orange. The 6.52 inch IPS display has a resolution of 720 by 1600 with a fingerprint resistant coating. The screen has a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and a pixel density of 269 ppi. The screen is bright and clear even with the lower resolution. No issues viewing this panel in bright sunlight and different viewing angles. Color accuracy is good when watching a catch up movie or YouTube shorts. On the left we have the dual SIM and micro SD card slot. Both nano SIM cards can access 5G or 4G connectivity simultaneously. Alternatively, you can increase the storage with a micro SD card and use one nano SIM card with it. There's a custom key allowing you, for example, to open the camera app with a single click, take a screenshot with a double click, and open Zello with a long press. On the right, we have the volume rocket switch and the power button, which also acts as the fingerprint sensor. The sensor works rapidly and accurately during our testing. Towards the bottom corner, there are holes for a lanyard. The bottom of the phone houses the USB-C charging port and microphone. At the rear of the Armour 12 5G is the camera sensors and stereo speakers. More on this later. The Armour 12 has NFC contactless payment for Google Pay and supports 15 watt wireless charging. Convenient if you have a wireless charging pad. Wi-Fi 5 is present and works well with no issues, even from a couple of rooms away from the access point or router. Bluetooth 5.1 is supported, allowing for connections to earbuds and external speakers. Call quality is excellent throughout our testing, with clear voices on both sides. The Armour 12 is powered by a MediaTek Dimensity 700 octa-core processor, along with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage on this review model. The Armour 12 has an Antutu score of 365,000. In daily usage, the Armour 12 sits in the mid-range performance bracket. No problem browsing the internet using social media apps, a spot of gaming or video streaming. Most apps feel snappy to use with hardly any slowdown. Heat-wise, during heavy usage or gaming, the phone stays only warm to the touch, partly thanks to the large rugged dimensions of the phone and the Dimensity 700 CPU. The GPU inside the Armour 12 is the Arm Mali G57 MC2, running at up to 950 MHz. Gaming is generally good. Let's take a look at some gameplay. The Armour 12 5G runs a clean Android 11. It's fast and snappy with plenty of customization options available. Uniphone have pre-installed a few apps like the FM radio app and a folder called Outdoor Toolbox filled with useful apps like a compass, noise tester and protractor. The pre-installed apps don't distract from the positive experience when using the Armour 12. The only question mark is the lack of updates and no upgrade path to newer versions of Android in the future. The Uniphone has a 5,180 milliamp battery giving around one to two days of general use like surfing, YouTube, social media and music streaming. Heavy gaming and 5G usage reduces this down to under a day. There is 18 watt fast charging to top up the battery. It takes around three hours to fully charge the large battery. Uniquely in a rugged phone, the Armour 12 has a 15 watt wireless charging option. Useful if you have a wireless pad in a car or by your desk. At the rear of the phone you get a quad camera setup. The primary camera is a 48 megapixel sensor. There's an 8 megapixel wide angle lens, 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Two flashes complement the quad cameras. The front camera has a 16 megapixel selfie lens. The camera app has several modes to choose from. Night mode, video, photo, pro mode and macro. 
Camera performance is typical of this price range. Under good lighting conditions, picture quality is good with plenty of detail and color saturation. Under darker conditions, quality is greatly reduced with grainy results. The macro of camera is hit and miss, sometimes losing focus. The wide angle has a tendency to lose image quality with its 8 megapixel lens. The front camera can take good selfies for your Facebook or Instagram needs. Here are some sample photos. The primary camera can record 1440p at 13 frames per second, whereas the front camera can record video at 1080p at 30 frames per second. There's no OIS on the primary camera, so video clips can be shaky if you're walking or running with the camera. Here are some sample video clips. Good, the bad and the really bad. Good design. For a rugged phone, the Armour 12 is great to hold in hand compared to the bulky competition in this category. The antibacterial properties keep the germs away, offering a simple protection while you're holding the phone. Decent performance. For a mid-ranger, performance on a daily basis is more than decent. Everything's snappy and quick, thanks in part to the hardware spec and the stock Android 11 installed. Sonic speakers. The hi-fi stereo speakers are loud and clear, great for music streaming, watching a movie or outdoor group listening to the local radio station. It could do with a little more bass and with the speakers being at the back there's a slight loss in audio quality when viewing on the screen. Wireless charging. Great to see on a rugged phone 15 watt wireless charging, making it convenient at times when you can't plug in the USB charging cable. Low resolution. The Armour 12 IPS screen is generally good with wide viewing angles and bright colours. However, the 720p resolution could be sharper with the 1080p display panel instead. Volume rocker. Strangely for a rugged phone, the volume rocker button makes a rattling noise whenever you pick up the phone, which is a tad irritating as it sounds like something internally is moving around, hoping it's a one-off on my review phone. No updates. If you want regular Android security updates or an upgrade to Android 12, the Armour 12 sadly won't have any. The Uniphone Armour 12 5G has some unique and useful features for a rugged smartphone. It feels great in the hand for a large rugged phone backed by a silver iron coating to protect you against germs. Performance is fast with a clean Android 11 OS, 8GB of RAM and quick storage. The hi-fi speakers are loud and clear. Battery life is useful, one day plus, with 18 watts fast charging and a bonus of wireless charging. The display resolution cameras could be better, but it doesn't distract from the fact that the Uliphone Armour 12 5G is a fantastic waterproof and drop resistant phone for outdoor workers and business users. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Uliphone Armour 12 5G phone. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.